Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in five or so minutes. Today we're going to try something a little bit new. For clarity, I'm going to actually give you what number topic we're on so you can more easily follow along. And we're actually going to perfectly follow the AI Breakdown First Five, which came out as an email this morning. And we kick it off with topic number one, Dell teaming with NVIDIA on AI. As The Verge puts it, Dell, the PC maker, is going all in on generative AI and offering hardware to run powerful models and a new platform to help organizations get started. So there are a few parts of this initiative. Dell Generative AI Solutions will help clients with new hardware setups, will offer a managed service platform, and will basically be designed to help big enterprises get access to LLMs, as well as to create unique, customized generative AI projects. So in this way, they're sort of competing in the same space as Amazon, which has been offering managed service platforms for enterprise clients, as well as consultancies like Accenture that have spun up generative AI services for clients as well. Now, they've also partnered in this initiative with NVIDIA for their infrastructure. They say they're combining NVIDIA's Tensor Core GPU and Dell's Enterprise AI software so that companies can run AI models more efficiently and quicker. Dell also said that it's going to be releasing new computers with built-in AI capabilities, which is something we've heard from other companies as well. TLDR, if you take away one thing from this, is that the AI boom is not just coming for software companies, but for hardware makers as well. Next up on the AI Breakdown Brief, topic number two, it appears that Instagram is working on an AI content label. This report comes from Alessandro Paluzzi, who is best known for leaking future features that come from the meta empire of companies. A couple days ago, he tweeted, Instagram is working to label the contents created or modified by AI in order to be identified more easily. He then showed a screenshot that appeared to be a notification from Instagram, which reads, the creator or meta said that this content was created or edited with AI. What is generative AI? People use AI tools to create text, images, and video from single descriptions. How to know when posts use AI? Content created with AI is typically labeled so that it can be easily identified. Now, in addition to that, it also appears that Instagram is working on a message summarization feature that will live inside the direct messages tab. And Alessandro assumes, and I agree, that it will be powered by Meta AI. Now, of course, the question with this is, is this meta being responsible and trying to help avoid confusion and deep fakes and things like that? Or is it them simply trying to get ahead of regulations, which will likely require some sort of content labeling like this? Of course, the best answer is likely that it's both. Topic number three, and frankly, the one that has the biggest potential for buzz, is that OpenAI has apparently filed a trademark application for GPT-5. YK, aka CS Dojo, posted this on Twitter. He writes, OpenAI has filed a trademark application for GPT-5, which includes software for the artificial production of human speech and text, conversion of audio data files into text, voice and speech recognition, machine learning based language and speech processing. Now, this filing was made on July 18th, 2023, so just a couple weeks ago. From a feature standpoint, the thing that most people have taken note of is the artificial production of human speech part, wondering if OpenAI is maybe getting into the space currently inhabited by companies like Eleven Labs. However, others did point out that the actual language appears pretty identical to GPT-4. Now, the last we heard about GPT-5 came in June. At a conference hosted by the Indian newspaper Economic Times, Altman said that they were still not training GPT-5 yet. This repeated statements that he had made in April, and Altman said, we have a lot of work to do before we start that model. We're working on the new ideas that we think we need for it, but we are certainly not close to it to start. Altman has also continued to point out that even if they started training GPT-5, there would be a whole additional process before it was released to the public. Altman said, when we finished GPT-4, it took us more than six months until we were ready to release it. My strong guess is that OpenAI believes, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are behind the scenes conversation to this effect in Washington, that any more advanced models than we have right now, than GPT-4, are going to require some additional level of scrutiny before being released to the public. In fact, at this stage, I would be shocked if that wasn't the case. So is the timing of the GPT-5 trademark indicative of a training process maybe coming closer to starting? Or is it just a company dotting its I's and crossing its T's? For now, it's just going to have to stay in the realm of speculation. Something that isn't in the realm of speculation and is frankly just about the most expected news that we could possibly have here in AI world is that Google's Assistant app is getting an AI makeover. First reported by Axios after getting access to an internal email that was sent to employees working on Google Assistant, the app is going to be totally overhauled focused on using generative AI, such as the Bard chatbot. 
Now, as part of this move, Google is reorganizing the teams that work on the product and that a small number of layoffs are happening as part of the shift. In follow-up, Google told Axios that the number of jobs being eliminated was in the dozens, while the number of people who work on Assistant numbers in the thousands. The email begins, Since we launched Assistant seven years ago, we've built great experiences for the hundreds of millions of people who use it every month. And we've heard people's strong desire for assertive conversational technology that can improve their lives. As a team, we need to focus on delivering high-quality, critical product experiences for our users. We've also seen the profound potential of generative AI to transform people's lives and see a huge opportunity to explore what a supercharged assistant powered by the latest LLM technology would look like. A portion of the team has already started working on this beginning with mobile. And from there, they go into the details around how things are being reorganized. Showing his prescience, Peter Yang, an AI content creator, had tweeted just about a day before this. When is someone going to port an LLM over to Alexa, Google Assistant, or Siri? These devices are dumb as hell. Well, Peter, your answer is right now, at least in the case of Google Assistant. Finally, Meta could launch AI Personas, a new human-like chatbot feature that lives inside their apps, as early as this month. The story was a scoop from the Financial Times, and basically pins it on a need to keep users engaged. The FT spoke to three people with knowledge of the plans, and said that the chatbots that are being worked on take the form of different characters. For example, one advises about travel in the style of a cool surfer dude, and another emulates Abraham Lincoln. FT writes, The chatbots could launch as soon as September. Their purpose will be to provide a new search function and offer recommendations, as well as being a fun product for people to play with. Now, they also point out that on top of just increasing engagement, in other words, the amount of time people spend on Instagram, Facebook, etc., the chat interface could also collect a ton of new information about what users are interested in and what they're looking for, which would help Meta with their main business model of serving up targeted ads. There are, of course, other personality-style chatbots in the space. Character AI has been a hot-button Silicon Valley darling, which generates conversation in the style of specific people. And Snap also launched its My AI feature in February, saying that 150 million users have interacted with it so far. Meta did not confirm the AI personas, but last week on their earnings call, CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that they would release more details about their roadmap for AI at their Connect Developer event, which is happening in September. So that is certainly an event to look forward to. But for now, that's going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, go check out the AI Breakdown newsletter. You can find it at the aibreakdown.beehive.com, that's B-E-E-H-I-I-V.com, or you can find a link on breakdown.network. Thanks as always for listening or watching, and I'll be back soon with the main AI Breakdown.